Hi strangers! I know it has been, I think, two weeks since I last filmed a video, and as you can see, I am in a different setting. If you are an OG watcher of my videos, you would recognise this is my parents' house. Um, I've moved house, um, I'm living back with my parents, so um, I will go into more detail about that. But anyway, so that's why I haven't filmed a video in the past week, it's because I've been moving and I haven't taken any time off work to do it, so um, my... I'm like looking at my bedroom now and it's it's disgraceful. I've managed to like corner off a frame of which it looks vaguely clean. Do you want to say hi to my friends? Hi Mitch, how you doing? <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, that's where I've been if you're wondering. As I said, I'll explain all of that in due course. But on to today, um, I've been wanting to do something that I've in my head called makeup uniform for a while. Um, I find that everybody sort of gets into, it's basically an everyday makeup routine, but I find like every now and again you find like a groove with certain products and certain things and you're just like, this is how I look in autumn 2015 and this is how I've been looking in autumn 2015. All these products I have been using basically on a daily basis and particularly because I've had lots of my stuff like packed up in boxes I have had to been using products that I can rely on and I know that you know they'll just work for me. So I was gonna film a video um, and I was about to put my makeup on so I thought I'd actually turn my camera on and show you what I've been using recently and can I just say I have been getting so many compliments on this look, if I do say so myself. Like, to a point where I was like, I should probably make a video on this, is when I got customer feedback about my eyeliner. <laughs> it literally, like, customer feedback about me in my work was, I really like that girl's eyeliner, I'm really jealous. So, you know me, I'm not keeping any secrets to myself. I thought I would share with you how I've been doing my makeup recently and what products I've been using. So, yeah, anyway, um, let's rewind to me about 20 minutes ago with no makeup on. So first off, I'm gonna start off with a product that I haven't actually tried before. This is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. I literally picked this up the other day and I haven't used it. So I'm gonna give it a go. Um, I quite like that it's got like a little bit of a pointy tip, as you can see. Uh, so that you're not getting loads of product out. And it's also a little bit of a pinky colour, so I don't know if that's gonna help the complexion. But it could be awful, because as I said, I haven't used it. Whenever I'm filming like these type of videos, I never know whether where to look when I'm just like, oh hey, here I am, putting my makeup on, don't mind me. Um, it's quite like a creamy texture, this. But it's like a thick cream, like almost like a whipped texture. Which, you know, feels nice. Right next up, my favourite base at the minute, this is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream. Um, I've literally just penned a review on this one, I don't know if I would have put it up just yet. But if I have, I'll link it down below for you. And what I like to do is I like to take two pumps of this on the back of my hand, so it's like a fairly sizeable blob. And I like to apply it with a brush. Uh, this is the brush I like to use, this is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, I believe. Oh, let me get a mirror out. Cool, and I like just to dip the Joy Old brush in and just chuck it on my face. I do prefer applying it with a brush because I think it just works better with the skin, this foundation, but it does definitely leave brush marks, but all you need to do is just sort of blend it in at the end with your fingers, or at least that's what I do. And, oh, let's get my fringe out of the way. This is cute, this is really cute. Might stay like this for the rest of the video. One thing, whenever I watch my videos back, my fringe is always just doing whatever it wants. It's never what I want it to do. And then I just like to give it a bit of, bit of this, just to make sure there's no sort of brush lines and that it is all sort of blended in. Right, moving on to brows. I've been using this product, also by Soap and Glory. This is the DIY Brow Bar. And I'm pretty sure I used this in a video when I very first got it. Um, but it's like sort of a set. Um, I, as you can see, I've hit pan on this colour and on the wax as well. Um, but yeah, I really like it and I think the brush in it is workable. It's got a spoolie on the end and I just think it just makes for fuss-free, easy brows. My brow hairs are like quite thick, like the actual hair follicle itself. Is that what you'd call it? Hair strand? Whatever. Um, and they always get a little bit unruly if I don't brush them through. I think I will put a little bit of the wax in them. While I like using this, it sort of like tames like my actual hairs and then I like to put gel on so everything sort of sets. So if I just sweep a little bit of that on, I use the same brush, I'm gross. But whatever, Olive. And so will you. 
Oh, P.S. I haven't washed any of my brushes for this video. They are bona fide disgusting and you're just gonna have to deal with it because I know you don't wash your brushes every time you use them, I can tell you that. What I will do is I will actually quickly run my brow gel through my brows. Uh, let's scrape off the excess. One thing about this product, like I love this brow gel, but you've just got to kind of like scrape the excess off because otherwise it just, there's, there's too much on the spoolie and I've had this for ages and there's still too much comes out on the spoolie. But the product itself, I really like. So I'm prepared to spend that extra, I don't know, three seconds scraping it off <laughs> to get nice brows. Boom, get it. Okay, I'm gonna move on to concealers. I actually ran out of my Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer recently. So I've actually gone back to an old favorite. This is the Collection 2000, as you can see. Well loved, there's no writing left on it. Yeah, I've definitely fallen back in love with this. It's, um. Does it, I think everybody still calls it Collection 2000, although I don't think it's been Collection 2000 forever. I'm just gonna chuck a bit of this under my eyes. Tell you what, that CC cream, like it really does have a good helping of coverage, like for the type of texture product. Um, so although I have got the odd blemish here and there that's poking through, like it's, it's strange because like I've got like a few beauty marks, moles like on my face, not loads, they're just like around my chin and like those still come out, but and I don't mind that. Um, but I find most sort of, sort of discoloration goes really. Um, whereas if I went for a normal tinted moisturizer, I'd definitely have to put more concealer on than this. But um, tell you what though, my bloody eye bags just love, come rain or shine, are just out for the lads 24 seven, which whatever. Oh, I'm trying to keep this out of shot, but I'm definitely doing a terrible job of that. So do excuse a big black bit of board coming up every now and again. <laughs> it's my mirror. I might as well just finish my whole face off. I'm gonna use the palette that I've been holding up in front of you. This is the Shape Matters palette. Um, I'm gonna use the contour shade in it, but otherwise, just if you wanna know what I would use if I was just doing this out of my handbag, I would use the contour blush from NARS. But as I've been waving this around in your face, I might as well use it. A, eh? where is my contour brush? I'm not being an absolute dingus. Yes I am, it's right here, it's right bloody here. This is the NARS contour brush, I think it's number 21, but don't quote me on that one. But yeah, I'm just gonna use the contour shade at the Shape Matters palette. Uh, I am thinking of reviewing this one too on my blog. So if you'd like to see that, or see just a whole video of me using all the products in it, because I'm not gonna be using the brows or the shadows in it today. Um, but I could do, if you wanted to see it up close and personal and on my face, I have no problem in doing that. Also from the same palette, I'm just gonna use the highlighting shade, like the sort of under eye highlighter, and put it exactly there, just to set my under eye makeup and to brighten it a little bit, because it's like sort of a palish yellow color. Perfect, and next up I'm gonna use my blush of the minute. This is a Love Hangover by Too Faced. It's from their Love Flush Blush range, and the colour looks like this, and I'm gonna use a Real Technique stippling brush to apply it. And the reason I'm gonna do that is this blush, I don't know if it's necessarily consistent over all the blushes, this is the only one I have, but I do think I swatched one of the lighter coloured ones, and I would just use a normal blush brush for this one. But for what I want, I, I find this gives me the best of both worlds, like it, it's not so like dull-like on my face, it's, it just gives a nice flush, so that's what you want, isn't it? I'm just gonna chuck that on. I hope you can't hear my bed creaking as I'm like vigorously putting blush on, but if you can then great. All right, moving on to highlighter, I'm gonna use uh, Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna use a Real Techniques fan brush for that one. I think, cause this uh, fan brush in particular is like a duo fiber one, um, it, I think applies this so you can wear it during the day because it, it I mean it is a pretty full-on uh, highlighter but I find this brush particularly helps just apply the right amount right I will powder the rest of my skin after that's all sort of set in but I'm gonna move on to eyes and uh, first of all I'm just gonna put some eye base on this is the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC um, I use this quite a bit oh I've got a bit of fluff in it that's how much I use it there's a bit of fluff in it come, come on out you come well, that's gross. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just like jam my finger in it and just show it all over my eye, right up to my brows. I quite like doing my brows um, before my eye makeup because I think 
sometimes when you're doing eye makeup and if you're doing something a little bit more dramatic i think if you haven't got your brows done yet it can sort of look a bit weird and you could be like oh it looks like shit when actually once you had your mascara on and your brows on it would look fine and i'm gonna be using not one but two eyeshadow palettes um if you've been watching my favorites videos you'd probably know which ones it's going to be mainly the shade and light palette by kat von d but i'm also going to be using a shade from the cargo cosmetics vintage escapes palette um, I've definitely reviewed this one online. I'll link that down below and I'm in the midst of reviewing this one too. I love it. I absolutely love this palette though, spoiler alert. Um, and I just want to show you how much I've been using this. I've hit pan on this shade here because this is the best shade. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it on my eyes and I'm not going to tell what the colours are but I will flash them up on the screen so you know what colours I'm using. So I'm going to take like this sort of like flat sort of oval brush and I'm going to take this uh, pale yellow uh, base colour from the palette and I'm just gonna again shove that very similarly to the paint pot all the way up to the eye um, eyebrows and just like all over the lid easy peasy and then this is a Smashbox brush I'm gonna use I do know the name of this shade because it's my favourite I'm gonna use Succubus which is the red shade that I've hit pan on and I'm just gonna use this through the crease uh, this Smashbox brush, it was from like a limited edition Christmas set a couple years ago um, and as you can see it's quite a fat brush uh, for a crease brush but I find it really diffuses the colour and I find that that really sort of helps um, for the look that I sort of go for with this. And I'm just going like all in the crease of this one and I'm not minding so much if I go over the crease or onto the mobile lid, I'm just, you know, shoving it in here and as you can see as I said, this brush is pretty big, so it does kind of go everywhere, but that is kind of the point. Right, once I'm initially happy with that, I scoot on over to the Cargo Cosmetics palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Frolic, which is this, sort of this satin finish, cool brown. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of Frolic on this one, tap off the access, and I'm just going to concentrate that on the outer V of my eye. I don't know, I just think something about the shades really, like... I just make my eyes look great. I ain't gonna lie. I just like the mix of these two shades a lot. But easy peasy, I'm just like brushing it down like kind of a little bit onto the lid and then through the outer V of the crease. And then back to the shade and light palette. I'm gonna take the first eye brush we used and I'm gonna grab this like off white colour and I'm gonna put that on the inner of my eye. Like this. Which is the area that we kind of still had a little bit bare with the yellow one. And then again, I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to blend basically all over. Right, now I could do my eyeliner in here in my bedroom. But I know for a fact it would all go horribly wrong. Because all my eye stuff is in my bathroom because I can get right up close to the mirror. And I can also bring you right up close to the mirror so I can show you how I do my eyeliner. Which I think I usually skip because it's just so hard to film because you're usually so close to a mirror. But anyway, let's get cracking and I will finish off the eyes in the bathroom. I'm going to crack on with my liner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, which is black and it's my fave. And what I like to do is like, I follow my bottom lash line and I just draw a line. And I do that on both sides. I mean, hopefully these match up. They kind of do. I feel like with liner you have to be calm. You have to have to be calm. Otherwise it'll just fuck up. And anyway, and then I literally just draw a line over the top. But if I just go and it's about there. About there. And then let's do the same on this one. I'm also not as close to the mirror as I'd like to be. So this could all go horribly wrong. Anyway, I'm going to cut my eyelashes. Sorry if you don't appreciate this on camera, but whatever. These are my Kevin Kwan eyelash colours. I really like them. And then I'm going to use my favourite mascara at the minute, which is this one. This is actually a brand spiky new one, so this could get really, really messy. This is the Mega Volume Miss Manga Punky Mascara. I love this mascara. I feel like they're going to discontinue it though. I've just got a feeling that it was just like... A limited release thing it's not going to be in their final lineup but like i hate them manga mascara which will stay ah oh, globby 
Right, let's go back to my bedroom and I'll pop some lipstick on. Ooh! Since I've been in my bathroom for like all of five minutes, it's definitely gotten darker in here. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on with lips and honestly, this changes daily. But one thing I have been loving is both this lip balm, this lip balm's by Rodial and it goes really, really well with lip liners and this is one by Rimmel. So, I really should have probably put some on before I started filming, but I definitely didn't. I'm gonna be giving it a good old rubbing with my lips. Gonna pat it in a little bit. And then, I'm gonna go into with the lip liner. This is in the shade 63 East End Snob, and it's one of uh, Rimmel's twist up, exaggerate lip, lip liners. Lip liner. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna, ah, do what it says on the tin. Liner lips. Mm -mm -mm. So this is my finished makeup look that I have been wearing most days recently and as I said, you know, I, I keep on wearing it because I keep on getting compliments on it. So that's always nice to hear and also, I don't know, like, you know, there's sometimes when you get into a makeup routine and you're like, this is how I look. <laughs> This is how I look. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to see any videos from me, I always love recommendations and videos that you want to see and all that crap. Um, get in contact. I won't bite, I promise. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm now about to film that video that I said I would at the beginning. It's going to be an empty video if you want to know. Anyway, so stay tuned for that one and thanks so much for watching. Cheers guys, bye!